Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are checking out another 2023 Collect Day release, and this one is a very welcome species yet again to my collection because it's another instance of Collect Day supplying me with a brand new species to my collection I did not have prior because we've got ourselves a Brystonius. And that is awesome. Definitely a species that I can't think of anyone else that currently has a model of. Probably partially in part to the fact that it wasn't long ago that this dinosaur was discovered. But also just because Collect Day loves to kind of reach out and give us not only the newest species that are being unveiled, but also just in general obscure species you don't often see get released. And yet again, Collect Day did a very good job on this. The sculpt is really well done. This might be the first figure, though, in this lineup for the 2023 year that I'm not noticing that sort of dark wash that they've been applying to their figures. So I think we'll need to wait until we get the closer look to really investigate to see if that is present and maybe I'm just not noticing noticing it but the paint scheme they've chosen for it as well I think looks really nice actually pretty similar to the triceratops the confronting triceratops from this year but different tones of color overall as far as like the lighter brown I think the dark brown might be around the same tone of color they used but regardless it definitely looks nice so let's jump to that closer look right now so starting up here at the head sculpt you can see it looks really quite nice as far as the fine detail goes very nice looking texturing to the skin up here in the face i like that it starts out in this dark brown up on the top of the snout leads back toward the eye but then we have this nice area of a white coloration that kind of circles around the eye almost similar to like your classic collect day sort of war paint type look but at the same time a little bit different we have a nice grayish tone there for the mouth area you can also see well maybe some nice detailing in that area the nostrils are sculpted out right there and yet again the eye is painted with a nice glossy black so it really pops really stands out and just looks super lifelike and i'm actually going to have to retract my statement about this not having that darker wash because it absolutely does which i did not notice initially when i had put it up here on the review station it definitely does but yet again it's applied in a really nice subtle way you can kind of see it right there creeping in and out of the scales of the stomach region but as you lead back up you can again see that we have this nice dark brown start to pick up on the top of the head again if my camera decides to let us look at it you'll see that there you go you can see it right there and that from that one area there turns into a striping effect that starts to move down the course of the neck of the dinosaur you also have a nicely sculpted out throat here for the underside nice light tone of color for the throat as well and as you move down you can see that the scales look really good there's also the ear actually sculpted out right up there that i did not mention and again that dark brown striping plays off of the lighter brown tone of color for the figure really nicely as you lead down here to the bottom of the neck you get a few kind of skin wrinkles and skin creases right there moving back into the leg you can obviously see our dinosaur is walking along this leg is in mid stride this leg is currently planted supporting the majority of the front of the dinosaur as far as the weight goes so you can really see some tensing in that leg very nicely you can also see it's actually moving at a pretty good speed I would say because you can see the toes are pretty much only touching right here and this leg is up off of the ground so I would say that this might actually be running potentially as that leg's coming down this leg is already about to lift up off of the ground so no casual walking for this guy as you see as you move down you've got a nice kind of crease there in the joint of the elbow a little bit more of that dark brown and then you'll lead down into the foot sculpt it looks really nice you've got some nicely sculpted out toes the darker wash really highlights those toes leading back up into the stomach region again you could see exactly what you would expect with the kind of creasing and everything right there in the skin right here as well the legs are kind of pushed together again with the walking movement of the dinosaur and obviously this leg moving forward is wrinkling the skin there in the stomach region a little bit more really nice you know of that darker brown coloration and you can see again how nice it looks as far as the application of the paint really smooth application of the paint this absolutely has got to be one of Collect Day's best years as far as the applications of their paint and just how much paintwork they put into the figures. You can see again more of that dark brown running along the back of the dinosaur. There's also a line of ridges that have picked up and I did not even mention it. You can see it starts right here at the bottom of the neck and increases in size as you move down the course of the spinal column of the dinosaur. You also have a nicely sculpted out thigh here. Another nice area of that you know splotchy dark brown as you move down you've got the kneecaps some creasing there in the joint of the knee as well as the calf muscle right there again my camera's losing focus this thing is being a nightmare lately 
And then as you move down, you have a really nice rear foot sculpt. Again, just like we saw in the front foot sculpt, you can see how the toes are highlighted with that darker tone, that kind of darker wash really nicely. And you again have the nicely painted nails as you move back up. You have a very nice curve to the tail as you lead out. I really quite like the curve in the tail. You lead up and then down and then it turns slightly, uh, I'd say to the left a little bit, not majorly, just a really, really slight turn toward the left. The stripes pick up quite significantly as you move out the length of the tail in comparison to the rest of the body. You can see they really pick up pretty strong here as you move out the length of the tail to give it that really nice flashy look as you lead out the length of the tail. They decrease in, you know, abundance as you move out toward the tip, but there's definitely a little area here where we have quite a few stripes. And then as you lead back over here, you can again see the really nice looking head sculpt. The head sculpt is lifted up toward, you know, looking up in the air almost, maybe also giving us a little bit more of a visual of the dinosaur kind of running along. You can see the neck and everything. The throat looks really good over here. Definitely some nice skin wrinkles increasing and everything, as well as skin stretching right here. As you move down into the front leg here, as this leg is actually again lifted up off of the ground, obviously, Moving pretty quickly, and you can really see that movement of the leg is sculpted out very nicely. You've also got a beautiful foot sculpt as you move down with the really nicely painted nails yet again. And then as you lead back up, you can see these two legs are really quite spread far apart. The skin is stretching that way and that way again because the legs are spread so far apart overall. But again, the paintwork looks really nice. I like how the color just gradually changes to a lighter tone as you move down. And then it's a pretty abrupt transition from there to there, but it's very smooth overall, I would say. And then you again can make out the hip bone a little bit, the nice muscle definition of the thigh that isn't overly sculpted. It's nice and naturally sculpted, I would say. Some wrinkling there in the joint of the knee as well as you lead down to the foot sculpt. You can also see that this foot is currently in the process of leaving the ground. You can see only the toes are touching just briefly as the dinosaur moves along. So I would absolutely say that this thing is moving at a decent speed. And then you lead back up a few more creases right there behind the thigh as you lead out the length of the tail. And then the underside, of course, has some really nice looking skin texture. You've also got a nice transition to the light tone of color. The cloaca is present and also highlighted with a darker tone of color. As you move here along the underside, when my camera decides to focus on it, we of course have the species name and everything here on the underside of the figure, nice and hidden down here where we would hope to see it kind of hidden. So that is a really nice version of a Brystonius. And it's the only version in my collection, so it's not like I have any others to compare it with, but I really don't know that I would need others to compare it with because this figure is just really well done overall and definitely does this species justice. As far as a size goes, being an Age of Dinosaurs entry, you're going to expect it to be a bit on the smaller side, especially for this species. So you're looking at a little over five and a half inches, approaching five and three quarters or around 14 and a half centimeters. And the highest point absolutely is that tip of the tail at two and a quarter inches or around five and a half centimeters for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line. And you can definitely see that again, it is a good bit on the smaller side. And even being an age of dinosaurs figure, it's actually right there in the size range you would expect, but if I compare it with the recent Ceratosuchops, you can definitely see it is on the smaller side. But again, a lot of the figures, especially similar species like this, usually are on the smaller side. And again, I think that honestly gives you even more respect potentially for how good the sculpt and paint is for a figure at such a small size. Also, here is a comparison between the confronting Triceratops and the Brystonius. Again, to show off that the coloration is very similar it's not super similar actually once you look at the two together you can see that the design is different as far as the striping and everything goes and the actual tones are slightly different from each other but it does have a somewhat similar appearance as far as the coloration overall as far as collect day comparisons go we also have the lambiosaurus here in the age of dinosaurs line showing you that they're not too far off as far as a size goes We've also got a classic old school Iguanodon here. Really cool kind of a vintage version of an Iguanodon. Not super vintage, but also not too updated either. But for another comparison, we have one of Collect Day's favorites, I would say, for many people. We've got the Olara Titan here. And this is one figure, the Olara Titan, that I have been just absolutely head over heels in love with since I initially had seen it. So 
That one was definitely one that I thought would be a fun one to bring in for a comparison. For another comparison, we also have the old school Batat Oranosaurus, just to help to show you that it's a little bit smaller if you happen to have that figure. We also have the Invictum Mutaborosaurus, if this is a figure you might have in your collection. An absolutely incredible figure that I felt like would as well be potentially one I'm kind of trying to cover, you know, a little bit of a wide array as far as different companies that you might have a figure of. And then for one final comparison, we have a Toy Monster International Captives Bumpy the Ankylosaurus, just for totally random comparisons to, again, help hopefully give you an idea of the size and cover a few different lines, and maybe you'll have at least one of the figures to compare with. So this 2023 Collect Day Brystonius is another really nice release from Collect Day. Is it one of my favorites of the year? No, it's definitely not, but it's definitely an exciting one because it is another really nice species overall chosen by Collect Day to include in this year's lineup, and it's also a species that, again, we don't really have any figures of currently, so it's a brand new species to my collection, and I'm sure many others as well. And they have done a very good job on the figure and the sculpt and everything overall. It has a really nice, kind of almost a running sort of a pose. It really does give me the feeling of it running along. I'm not sure if it's running in fear or what, but it definitely seems to be kind of sprinting off somewhere and they've captured all of the fine detail as far as that movement goes really nicely throughout the sculpt the skin texture looks really nice as well we also have all the fine details like you know the ears the nostrils all the stuff you would expect to see all the way down to the cloaca present on this model we have some really nice paintwork for it as well it's nothing overly flashy or crazy or intricate it's just a nice naturalistic application nice naturalistic paint scheme that they've chosen for it and it works really nice overall definitely still another really nice figure from collect day for the 2023 year and one that i certainly recommend picking up when it comes into stock on everything dinosaur so make sure you follow everything dinosaur make sure you follow collect day make sure you pick this figure up when it goes into stock and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching